The Russian invasion of Ukraine has brought more than a few surprises, among them, the celebration of the Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drone. The drone has become not only a force multiplier overhead, but also a symbol of Ukraine's resistance to the Russian invasion and a source of national pride. A song extolling the lethality of the Bayraktar drone and mocking Russian forces has also become an anthem to the resistance. The Bayraktar TB2 is a turkey-made, flat, gray unmanned aerial vehicle with angled wings and a rear propeller. It carries laser-guided bombs and is small enough to be carried in a flatbed truck and costs a fraction of similar American and Israeli drones. The drone capable of reaching a speed of 200 kilometers per hour and rising a height of 8 kilometers. The drone can acquiesce and fire a target with aerial bombs and guided anti-tank missiles. Bayraktar drones have a high-precision sighting system to help destroy various enemy ammunition, such as trip-mounted multiple rocket launchers and air defense missile systems, tanks, and military convoys. The bombs it carries can adjust their trajectories in midair and are so accurate that they can be delivered into an infantry trench. Bayraktar was named after Baykar Company founder Uzdemir Bayraktar. In May 2016, Bayraktar married Sumay Erdogan, the youngest daughter of the Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. By the successful of the Bayraktars, and particularly the TB2 drone, which turned into the flagship of the Turkish defense industry, Erdogan wishes to build a powerful industrialized Turkey that serves as the natural leader of the Muslim world. The Bayraktar are currently used by Turkey, Qatar, and Azerbaijan. The Turkish-made drones Bayraktar TB2, also employed by the Ukrainian army to fight Russia, help monitor the situation, and strikes enemy targets. Ukraine was the first country to purchase the TB2 in 2019 and has ordered more than 36 drones. And in 2021, the drones exercised their first flying over the eastern part of Ukraine. On October 2021, Ukraine reportedly used this Turkish-produced drone to destroy a Russian separatist howitzer that shelled Ukrainian positions in Hranin. The drone's success isn't just the ability to target the Russian military, it's a public relations victory as well. Videos of Bayraktar strikes went viral on social media and became a great morale booster and a great tactical victory for Ukraine. Teres Borovak, the 49-year-old Ukrainian musician has shot to fame after creating a propaganda song that hails the impact of Turkish drones in stymieing Russia's advances. The song called Bayraktar, the same name as the drone, the song mocks Vladimir Putin, the Russian army, and even the Russians' famous cabbage soup. Music has a unique power to reach people because it doesn't require people to read something actively. Borovak said, his goal is to influence people, keep morale high and reduce Russian influence and tries to make his songs easy to understand for every person. As the song goes viral on social media, Turkey's Bayraktar TB2 drones are being lauded for countering Russian attacks against Ukraine and have effectively become a Ukraine public relations victory for the resistance.